Hey, Bear Goobs! Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're coming back. Thanks for clicking on my video. As you can see in the title, we're going to talk about marriage. And just to go ahead and answer no, I'm not engaged as you can see. I wanted to talk about my values on marriage and how they changed over time. Because they definitely changed over time. So I thought it'd be fun. That'd be fun to share about it and just have a conversation about it. So as some of you might already know, if you did watch or even saw my other, my previous video, this is another self-reflecting in a safe space video podcast. And the previous one I talked about leaving Christianity. Therefore, I used to be Christian. With that being said, my views and beliefs on marriage were very conservative, were very the stereotypical, like, find a boyfriend or man, good Christian man, have a, gonna get married and raise a Christian household and have kids, all the, the whole, the whole good stuff. That's what I grew up believing that, you know, that was going to be how my romantic life would be or <laughs> my love life would be like uh, later on in the future. And it took a while, like it's, it, my values and beliefs on marriage mostly changed once I entered into the pre present relationship that I'm in right now. When I was younger and I was in my first relationship, which I was 14, 15, around there, I genuinely, and again, <laughs> that was in my mind during that time, you know, I was in love with this dude. And he wasn't a very, he wasn't a good boyfriend, but we're not going to talk on that. I have another video if you want to watch that where I talk about my um, romantic history. If you want to go watch that, you can. But regarding that first relationship, I was head over heels for this dude. And even though he treated me poorly and <laughs> I genuinely thought, okay, yeah, since I love this guy, my first, my first love, we're going to get married. And he was also Christian. You know, I met him at church. And yeah, you know, that was my understanding. Like, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna get married someday. And I was prepared for that. You know, my, my thoughts were as my parents usually would, uh, I wouldn't say they preach this that often because they don't really, they never liked talking about like relationships because majority of the time my parents would ever, when it comes to boys or relationships, they would say the same thing over and over again. Stay away from boys, boys only want one thing, et cetera, et cetera, you know. And I was like too young, I guess. Uh, regardless, that was that was pretty much it. But during this relationship, I genuinely thought, you know, like we love each other, so I'm sure we're going to get married. And that was my understanding. That was my belief. That was my goal <laughs> that we're gonna get married. My parents mostly made me think, or not just my parents, also like my older siblings and maybe cousins and aunts and whatnot. Uh, when you're in a relationship, it leads to marriage. Like that's the goal. You only date or have a romantic relationship with someone uh, and the goal is to lead to marriage. That was that was the belief. That was a consensus in my brain uh, to everybody. And so yeah, that, that was the goal. So with that being said, you know, that relationship didn't last. It was very unhealthy, heartbreak here and there, great job. Uh, next relationship which was my previous relationship and I'm glossing over a bunch of other like short-term relationships that I've been in uh, so right now I'm strictly just focusing on my long-term relationships that I've been in but yeah my previous long-term relationship that I've been in which was almost like five years he was the person that I would quote unquote like you know that this this was my genuine actual first love experience and, you know, because this person treated me kindly, treated me with respect and just loved me and all this, you know, just all the, all the things that you'd want in a healthy partner, healthy relationship for the most part, um, regardless of how it ended later on. <laughs> oh, God. There was this portion in our relationship where the, the topic of marriage came up. And, oh man, I just, I remember this memory as clear as day. It was, <laughs> it was really good. We were, let's see, I think I was like 17, I'm sure, 18 actually. 
I was 18 because it was whenever I got kicked out of my parents' house and I was living with my previous partner and his family for a little bit uh, initially. And we started talking about marriage. And I think I recall asking, you know, like, oh, do you think we'll get married or some shit like that? And you know what he said to me? And this is the most realistic thing he could say to me, but I wasn't prepared for it. He looked at me and he was like, oh, you know, well, I don't know. You know, there's no guarantee that we'll still be together. You know, like anything could happen. And I don't want to say for sure that we'll get married, basically. Uh, and I just, I lost it. I had, I started having just a panic attack. Uh, and I was just freaking the fuck out because my entire, you know, like not only do I, did I love him so much, you know, my brain, like my previous relationship before that, you know, I was like, okay, I love this guy. I'm ready to marry him, ready to do all the, the, do the thing, you know, do the marriage thing <laughs> later on. And so with him, you know, and this is someone that I like truly, like I really fell in love with him and it was going really well. And, um... I was just sad. I was, I was, I genuinely, during that time, I could picture my life with him. I could picture our marriage and life together, et cetera, et cetera. I was telling him, you know, like, I can imagine myself with nobody else other than you. And so I, like, freaked out. I ran out. I walked over to, like, a park nearby, and I was just freaking, I was freaking out. It was... <laughs> I know a lot of people probably would say, you know, I was overreacting and I could definitely agree. I was overreacting a little bit, but you also have to take into consideration my mindset, my like beliefs on marriage, especially during that time and dating. I genuinely was freaking out because I started telling him, started arguing with him. Then what is even the point of us dating? What is even the point of us being together if we're not going to get married or if it's not for sure thing? And, you know, and it was like just a clashing of values, a clashing of beliefs where he was just very open minded to the realistic possibilities that our relationship as anyone else's relationship could not actually last forever. That's it is what it is. But I just did not want to believe that. I thought to myself, no, see, it's not supposed to be that way. We're in love with each other and we're together and you know we love each other right now so therefore we will last and our relationship will be good all this other stuff i genuinely was just freaking the fuck out i was like there is no point i genuinely believe this there was no point to us staying in this relationship if we're not going to get married eventually or like in the near future like if you're not going to propose to me and all this other stuff if we're not going to get married and start a family, or not start a family, but like, if we're not gonna get married, there's no point in me staying in this relationship. And I, that was like, that was the thing I was uh, battling with while having that panic attack, because I wanted to stay with him. I wanted to stay with him so bad. I wanted our relationship to continue to grow. I wanted our relationship to continue to thrive. And I felt like it was impossible for it to thrive, knowing that my partner wasn't, didn't believe the same thing, where, you know, our relationship might not last that long, you know, like not saying that he believes we're going to break up during, you know, back then, like, you know, it's not like he was preparing, oh, we know we might break up, but that was also like, but what if we break up, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I hated that, I absolutely hated it, like, no, that's not a for sure thing, that's not going to happen, if we love each other, we're going to stay together, and that was like, that was, yeah, and I was just freaking out, I made a huge deal, I was running around crying, and he was trying to calm me down, and eventually, like, my panic ended up leading him to, like, giving in, basically, he, <laughs> that's terrible, that's so terrible, this is definitely one of the things that I'm not proud of whatsoever, and the me now is very different from that me then, and going forward, you know, I, he basically said, he gave in and said, okay, no, you know, I'm so sorry. I said those things. I don't ever want us to break up. I don't think we ever will. I do want to marry you. That is like, you know, I look forward to doing that. You know, I see you in my future, all this other stuff, saying everything you can to like calm me the fuck down, but also because we loved each other. He loved me. And he was like, yeah, I know. I do want to spend the rest of my life with you, et cetera, et cetera. And I was just like not believing him for a good minute. And it just, it took a while, but we, we made up. We, like, I wouldn't say we compromised, we just 
met halfway and I didn't change my view though whatsoever. I just stayed thinking that way. And of course that thought process definitely changed once we did break up. <laughs> we broke up before the five year mark. And um, of course that like flipped my world upside down, uh, especially my views on marriage. I, of course, it's like, I can't believe this happened. You know, this was, this was the relationship. I'm sure, you know, maybe we'll find each other again. Maybe our relationship will be better. I'll wait for him, all this other good stuff. It never happened though. We ended up, I, I won't get into details, but we don't talk. And that was when I think my views for marriage definitely started to shift a little bit. It started to shift a bit whenever I started dating my present partner. When I met my present partner, that's right before I met my present partner, I actually started going through a shift in growth and in, in self change basically there was a lot of things that i was working on one of them being you know deconstructing from christianity uh, those types of beliefs and then also just a lot of different values and beliefs that i used to have very strongly i started deconstructing from a lot of it and paving the way to like not paving the way but welcoming new and different perspectives, different insights, different beliefs that I felt started to resonate with me more and more over time. And one of them being that, you know, he was right. My previous partner was right. And I wasn't prepared for it. And that's why it hurt so much whenever we broke up because, you know, my belief was we truly loved each other and we were not gonna break up, you know, all this other stuff. So it happened and that just, it was like a big break in that. Uh, value or that belief and mindset and when I started dating my present partner and you know I wouldn't say we like fell in love immediately or anything like that we love each other now initially of course it took some time I definitely started to really like him and I remember telling him that my views on marriage still during that time was that I would like to get married before 30 So unfortunately, during that time, the societal pressures of marriage was definitely weighing on me still, especially when it came to age, your age. So I told him, you know, I would like to get married before 30, especially when our relationship started to like kind of become a little closer, become a little stronger. We started to connect more. We started having stronger feelings for each other. And I told him, yeah, I just want to get married before, before uh, 30. And my a uh, friend I used to be best friends with back then, they, you know, they got married and they got, you know, they got engaged and then got married and I, they wanted to get married before 30 and all this other stuff. We had those conversations and I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, I just want to, I really want to get married before 30. And it never hit me until much later that like, wow, I, and I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to want to get married before a certain age. That's fine. You do you. This is just me. I'm talking strictly about myself and my own values and my own beliefs. And I started really sitting down and thinking to myself, why do I want to get married before 30? Like, why is that a priority? Why is that important to me? And I started thinking about it realistically again, like my previous partner had impacted me in that way where it's like, what if we don't though? What if we do not get married? And so like, what am I supposed to do? Like, why is there a rule in my brain, in my thought process? Like, why, what am I supposed to do then if I don't get married with the partner that I am with right now? Say we break up again, or not break up, but like say we break up, my pr present partner, we break up. And then how am I, you know, and then I have to start a new relationship. I gotta start a new relationship before 30 so that I can get married before. Like, when you think about it, it's like, that's just exhausting and not ideal you know, when it comes to recognizing that the relationship is more important than the time frame of an event, if that makes sense. <laughs> so it took me until I think uh, a year or so into our relationship where I started thinking more and more about it. Because my, whenever I talked to my present partner about how I want to get married before 30, and I asked him, you know, when do you want to get married? And he said, I mean, I don't think about it very often. 
I, it's not really a priority to me, to be honest. Uh, I don't really have a time frame. I feel that I want to get married just when it feels right. And I told him, okay, uh, that's fine. Told him that you do you, and I just, just know that I do want to get married before 30. Time goes by, and then I started thinking about it. You know, we started hanging out, we were building our relationship. Our connection, again, continues to grow stronger. Our relationship continues to thrive as we continue to work on ourselves, build up, build up our communication, and work on our self-improvement. And I started thinking about self-reflecting on why is that important to me. And I started asking myself the question that, will I be okay if I don't get married before 30? And when I started thinking about it, like, you know what, I, yeah, I, I will. Like, what will happen to me if I don't get married before 30? It's like, nothing will happen to me. I know I'll be fine, actually. Like, <laughs> it was like a huge realization, like, whoa. Actually, uh, I'll be fine. That's, that's, that's so weird. What a weird realization, <laughs> epiphany, that I'm not going to explode. I'm not going to be discriminated against or bullied. I mean, maybe I will, but then if people, if there are people out there who will give me crap for not getting married before 30, then they're not worth my time. <laughs> you know, like at that point, it doesn't, they don't matter. But realistically, it's like, I, I'll be okay if I don't get married before 30. And that was like the biggest thing was realizing that and coming to terms with that idea that that's not important. Marriage, being married before 30 isn't important. Age isn't important. Time frame isn't important as long as I'm ha having a good time in my relationship. You know, as long as I love being in my relationship and spending time with my partner. And that's like the priority is that I'm focusing on the memories, the quality time I spend with my present partner in the moment and not have to worry about like, oh, I gotta get married before 30, <laughs> you know? So officially I started and I now believe that I genuinely don't care. <laughs> Like, and that's not to say that I don't want to get married. I do. I would be down to get married is my present feelings on the matter. I'd be down to get married. Uh, am I in a rush? Absolutely not. I personally don't care for when it happens. Genuinely, I am just very happy to be with my partner. I am happy to spend every day with them and make all the memories that we do make and have the conversations that we do have, grow together, grow individually, but together. And ultimately I've come to realize within myself that marriage truly is just, I feel this thing that there's so much pressure on a lot of people. I'm going to mostly specifically talk about me though, um, where you get married, you change your names, marriage, your relationship, I hear, you know, your relationship is gonna be different, wait till you get married, uh, you guys are gonna hate each other, you know, stuff like that. And I know that's not always the case. That's just something I recall hearing many times. And nowadays, I think to myself, but why? <laughs> Why should, why would any relationship change just because you get married, you know? And I know any, anyone and everyone can have their own opinions and values and like um, reasons for why their relationship changes. There's a lot of factors into when a relationship changes, you know, one, not only are you getting married, but like you start a family, you have kids, you have values that start to grow apart from each other, that differ from each other, that clash with, clash with each other, life impacts us in many different ways. We become different people sometimes and sometimes that factors into relationships not uh, maintaining or staying strong. So with me now, it's like, I just want to continue being with my partner, whether just for as long as it can go. <laughs> and 
whether that means we never get married, whether that means we do get married, that is honestly fine with me. I've decided that when it comes to marriage, I don't see it now as being something I'm looking forward to, like changing my name, being a Mrs. This or, you know, and bank accounts and kids. You know, I personally, I don't want any kids, <laughs> but I have no interest in having any kids. And I see marriage, specifically the wedding ceremony, as or marriage, I guess, in general, a marriage ceremony, which, whichever, to be something to help not to help, but like to just celebrate our relationship. Because once, once we get married, nothing changes in my mind. I don't, I don't believe anything should have to change other than, you know, changing of last names and legalities of it all. I don't care too much for all of those things, even though I know that's something that does become important in the relationship. But for right now, just strictly marriage, the concept of it, I believe that marriage will be used for us as something to again celebrate the relationship we already have the relationship we're already maintaining because again like i said nothing will change once we get married we're going to continue waking up next to each other loving on each other uh, continue to have uncomfortable conversations if we need to in order to grow and in order to encourage a thriving relationship we're going to continue doing those things before and after any marriage happens. So that is my take on marriage. And speaking of which, when it comes to <laughs> the ideas of proposing, I also actually believe nowadays that I'm more than happy to propose myself to my partner. My partner is a man. <laughs> not that it's important. It's not important whatsoever. but. Initially, he was against that idea because of the societal and stereotypical norms and, you know, the pressures of men. That's a men, man's job and everything like that. Unfortunately for others, I, or fortunately, really, for me, I don't believe that. I believe that anyone can propose if they truly want to. I don't think that that's a man's job. I think we just put that pressure on people because cause society because sexism, because patriarchy, <laughs> misogyny, you know, like it's, no, I don't, I personally, and I'm not saying that anyone who is a man wants to propose, and I'm not looking down on anyone that wants to propose as a man, that's not at all what I'm trying to get at. Regarding my present relationship, I'm more than happy and willing and wanting, actually, I desire to want to propose, and if you're wondering why, it would be the same exact reason for anyone else who typically is a man to want to propose to their own partner. Because first of all, you want to like, eventually you want to celebrate your relationship or get married, et cetera, et cetera. Also, you want to see that excited, wonderful, happy face on your partner when you get down on one knee and have a ring and you know, here you go. And that's really exciting. So same reason, it's like, I would love to do that for my partner. <laughs> I'm not gonna say whether or not I will, or if I do actually have a ring presently. I'm not telling you that. But I will say that I'd be down to. I might actually, who knows, not sure. I should just have to wait and find out if I come out with an engaged video, <laughs> whether it's by me or my partner. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for listening to my video. That's, that's the end of my little rant on my views and beliefs on marriage. You do you. I support you supporting what, you, what makes you happy, you know. If you want to get married, do the common thing get married have a family start you know all this good jazz i support that for you if you want if you don't want to get married more power to you don't get married <laughs> don't fall into the peer pressure to get married and or the time frames of your age and everything when it comes to marriage i think that that's it's all society's fault really <laughs> it doesn't exist you don't have to feel pressure it's just people being mean <laughs>
But regardless, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my video, to watch my video. If you want to check out my Patreon, link will be down below as my other links to my other platforms will be down below in the description. I will be posting a video on my Patreon sharing my story of when I first when I first did the did the sideways the, the vertical tango, if you know what I mean. <laughs> sex. Uh, the first time I had sex. So if you're interested in that. You can be a part of, you can be a patron, and if you do, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you again for taking the time. I hope you take care of yourself because you deserve it. Drink water, hydrate, and yeah. Bye!